Welcome to Midwest Sportsnet. I'm Joey McWilliams. It's a privilege today to be joined on the summit by Braden Gleason, the quarterback from Emporia State, whose Hornets came away with a 48-27 victory over Southeastern Oklahoma State University in the Live United Bowl this weekend. Braden, it was a big victory, may not have even been that close. Can you talk about the win and, and what that was like on Saturday? Uh, you know, it was a great team win. Um, you know, it was really great to, you know, get an extra game, you know, getting to play in that bowl game and, you know, send out our seniors the right way, you know. Um, with a lot of special uh, group of guys on this team that was in that senior class, you know, big leaders. And, you know, to send them out, you know, with a win like that is, you know, really good. Um, you know, the defense played great, you know, forcing turnovers. They gave us great field position all day, it seemed like. So, you know, made it easy on us. Um, you know, receivers were getting open. Um, you know, O-line did a great job during the game. I don't think I got sacked at all. Um, run game was good. You know, makes it a lot easier for me to throw the ball when we can run the ball too. So, you know, you know, I think it was just a great team win. You know, and, and watching it as I had the opportunity to do, I, I think you all just did exactly what you said. You executed on all fronts. It was fantastic. Your numbers from the day alone – 22 for 34 passing, 253 passing yards, five touchdowns. You weren't sacked. You also had no interceptions as well. So uh, individually, you executed well, too. Yeah, you know, that's, uh, you know, just a goal for me each week is, you know, take care of the ball and, you know, really just execute our offense and, you know, help us play at the highest level we can play possible. Braden, uh, for the season, I, I read those individual numbers. That was for one game alone. The season numbers are absolutely incredible. 321 for 473 passing, 3,404 yards. You, you broke the 3,400-yard mark uh, in passing, 33 touchdowns. By the way, you could run the ball as well. I know you know that. But for those watching, 295 yards rushing, seven more touchdowns on the ground too totaling 3,799 yards of total offense and 40 touchdowns on the season. Uh, talk about this year as a whole. You know, uh, all those numbers, you know, really it's just credit to those guys around me. You know, I mean, I got guys who can go make plays that, you know, on any given down, you know, I just try to really get the ball out to their hands and let them make plays. You know, they make my job easy, um, you know, but it's really just credit to all them, you know, so – it makes, just makes my life easy when I can just get the ball out quick and, you know, let them go for 40, 50, and, you know, so it's really, really good on my part. And it is good to have players like that. We're visiting with Braden Gleason here on Midwest Sports Net, and I encourage you, please like this video, share the video, and take the time, subscribe to the channel. Uh, that always does help. Braden, I know that you uh, are originally from Muldrow, Oklahoma, home of the Bulldogs, home of Chantel Smith, by the way, too. <laughs> Uh, yeah. how, did, how did you make your way to Emporia State from Muldrow? Um, you know, uh, I got, let's see, I think it was a game day email from Coach Higgins. And, uh, you know, I came up here, you know, one of the game days. Uh, I think they were playing Pitt State, and it was a game where they had to call it at like halftime and play the second half on another day. But, uh, you know, I, I went up there that day and, you know, didn't really let him know I was coming until I got there. I was like, like uh, I was like, hey, coach, uh, you know, I, I came to the game day. Um, and, you know, they talked to me like they for 15 minutes, 20 minutes of that day and act like they knew me, you know, from the jump. And, you know, I think just the way they, you know, showed their interest in me just from that first game day visit was, you know, enough for me to be like one wanting to come back and stuff. Um, but I went to that, didn't really – hear from anybody from a while and then you know basketball season I had a you know official visit to East Central University and then um and then to Emporia and I committed you know committed that morning the next day after my official visit to Emporia you know I they were the coaches were coach Higgins was the same way to me from the first time he met me um you know I loved what you know Emporia was about I'm you know Muldrow doesn't have a lot of um glitz and glamour and i you know I, I that's not what sells me it was the program and the coaches and you know the family atmosphere here you know that's what you know really sold me to want to be here i like it's on my visit meeting all the players already they just made me feel at home and you know i knew it was a place i, I wanted to you know go to college and you know it was a life choice for me 
Well, I know that they are very likely that happy that you're there as well, uh, recognized as one of the nominees for the Harlan Hill Award this year, too. Braden, I, I know that, uh, of course, the win now in the Live United Bowl is in the books. A, a measure of vengeance, possibly, over Southeastern for, uh, yeah. for their victory in that same bowl last year. So you get to celebrate Christmas, and I know weight room time is ahead of you. Uh, do you have any goals already set? Anything uh, materializing in your mind for next season? Uh, you know, really just, you know, keep thriving, you know, keep pushing myself to be better, you know, um, you know, just not being satisfied of what we've done and, you know, where we are. I think, you know, you just, you got to continue to try to be better and, you know, take it day by day and, and you know, really just take each off season day, day by day and get better learn from, you know, the season, try to get your body bigger, faster, stronger, you know, I think, you know, just really just continue to improve and, you know, get guys around you to keep doing the same thing. All right. Well, success to you next year. Congratulations on another fantastic year this season. And I appreciate you taking time with us today here on the summit. Thank you. Thank you for having me.